longer on ice. Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm Lady Gear of you, and today we're going to be entering the Freezer Play Galaxy. This weird snow scope just gave me the treat. I'm too scared to leave my house, boyoing. Wimp. Oh my god, it's Luigi! Hey, Abel, you're looking for a power still around here. You want me to take over for a little while? You can play as Luigi! You want to switch, bro? Not right now. And then let me explain why. But, but first, uh, let me play, let me just uh, talk about Luigi's role in this game. Just a little bit. Uh, Luigi's role in this game. Uh, after you do, after you complete, I think, the Tall Trunk Galaxy, you unlock the ability to play as Luigi. Um, in some levels, he'll appear, and you can play as him. But I'm not going to be doing that for a little while. Um, the reason why is because of spoilers. Uh, well, not, it's not because of spoilers, but I won't talk about why I'm not playing as him because of spoilers. Um, so, but trust me, later on this let's play, like, way later on, I'm going to be cover I'm going to be sewing off Luigi. How he but I can talk about how he controls. Luigi, uh, he could tr he is a little slipperier than Mario, but he is faster. Um, he has a, he has a higher jump, and, uh, when he does a Spin move while he's underwater, he'll lose you lose air quicker. Um, Luigi is more built to for people to play as. Uh, it's Luigi's built more for expert players, where Mario is better suited for beginners. Well, 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 you just rode in the domain of the chimp. You could have that game skill, right? Today, I got a list of challenge for you. Just skate and bump the enemies. Watch out for the spikes, ones. Simple enough, right? So you ready to experience this? I'll give you this power star if you get 500 points or more. Good luck! This minigame is really fun. Um, uh, this minigame kind of reminds me of the Clock Town Suiting Gallery from, from Majora's Mask. Uh, the Clock Town Suiting Gallery, uh, it was pretty difficult. This one is a lot this one's a lot easier because it's, it's a lot more forgiving. You only need to score 500 points to beat this. You do not need to get every single one of them, although I do challenge people to get, like, to get, like, every single one of them. Um, I've never been able to get them all by myself, so... Uh, but you only need 500 to get the reward, and until today, do it. Please, 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 please. Yay, we did it! Got 550 points. I guess that qualifies you as my signing rival. I may not like it, but I promise. So you take this power star. Monkey power activate. You got a power star. Alright, back into the regular mission. What we really want to do is that we want to just take care of that Bowser statue over there. But first, there's a little secret right here that I actually did not know about. Uh, there's a one-up right there, and I did not know about this prior to the recording of this video. So, yay, I found something! Clap for joy. Anyway, we need to use the Fire Flower to uh, destroy the Bowser statue. Uh, the Bowser statue has a lot of awesome details, though, which I'll be pointing out in a moment. Oh my god, it's a good uh, The more damage that the Bowser statue takes, um, the more it looks like Bowser is actually injured, and I just love that detail for whatever reason. Um, this galaxy, this is one of my more favorite galaxies because of the music. I'm going to set up for a moment so you guys can actually listen to it. The Firefly Roman music. Yeah, I love the music in this galaxy. Um, it just really, it just sounds like something that you would that you would listen to uh, around the winter, and that's the whole point of 
the uh, that's all point of it because it is uh, basically a winter wonderland. And as somebody who loves the season of winter, um, I really love this uh, this galaxy. And the music is just brilliant. Um, it, it and it feels like a really awesome jazz. Uh, it feels like a really awesome jazz uh, uh, song that you'd hear walking uh, walking down the street around winter time. Not necessarily like a caroling or something like that, but it just feels really awesome and I love the music here. Anywho, uh, that, that large Bowser statue over there is the one that we want to go with. And this right here, this does not make any sense at all. But, okay, since you found me, I'll let you in on a secret. If you roll snowballs in the snow, they'll get bigger! This right here, this makes absolute blood bad discoveries. Um, that's the bunny said, uh, rolling the snowballs. Stop burning me when I'm trying to explain stuff. You're ruining my life. Anywho, um, as the bunny said, having rolling around the rolling the snow around in the uh, in the, rolling the snowball in the snow will make it bigger because that's the way snow works. But what I honestly just don't understand, and my sisters, uh, uh, they ask this every single time that I play through this game. Uh, they always ask why the snow doesn't melt immediately when it's on the lava. This is a brilliant gameplay mechanic where uh, you have to freeze part of the lava to put snowballs over it, but it that that shouldn't be possible because it's snow and uh, the heat of and the heat of lava is intense enough uh, to pretty much melt to pretty much uh, burn water on contact or something like that. Uh, I don't know how to explain it all. I don't know how to really explain it all scientifically uh, or anything like that. But anyway. Enough about that. Stop burning me! I command you to stop! Please, I'm asking you nicely. I want to live for three more days. Uh, let's just burn this Bowser statue uh, before the jerk destroys us. If it weren't for those guys, I'd just, uh, this would be one more. This would be my absolute favorite galaxy. But because they're here, I don't like them. But anyway, we got a power star! Sir Betty's Chili Reception! Alright then, back into one of the greatest galaxies ever. Oh my god, I just realized this planet, it looks like an Oreo cookie! Someone said that there's a snow monster with a red nose out there. I could go outside with a thing on the loose. I wonder what his house looks like. Well, it's okay, I guess. Uh, anyway, um, but I just realized that this galaxy, this planet, it looks like an Oreo cookie. It is so cute. I like Oreo cookies. Anyway, uh, now that the stupid fire flower of evilness isn't with us, uh, we can listen to this awesome music forever. Where did that chance keep go? I heard it activate, but where did it go? Dude, it's this! It's a ghost! It's gonna haunt me! It's gonna- it's gonna do- It's going to eat my face on Christmas Eve! That's scary! It's more scarier than- It's more scarier than a pickle! That's right, it is even more scarier than a pickle! I'm being stupid now, aren't I? Alright then, um, across these the snow, uh, sculpture things, there's, uh, uh, starship. Um, as you see right there, using the rock form in the snow, it makes you all, it makes you turn off snowy and stuff, and I love that little detail right there. I'm not 100% sure if the hidden, if you can access the hidden missing in this level as well. I'm not entirely sure about that, but anyway, um, let's just go get the other starships. I think there's one to three, and I'm correct. Okay, I just cut ahead to me finding the to finding the last uh, one because um, I was wandering around here like an idiot for a couple minutes, and I don't want uh, people to, and I don't want to uh, waste everybody's time, especially with YouTube's new stupid 15-minute rule. Okay, let me go on a little. Uh, let me talk about this real quick. YouTube has a new 15-minute limit for a couple for some whatever reason. 
and apparently I have to call YouTube to verify my account. But my account was okay a couple my account was okay a, a couple weeks ago. So I don't understand what is wrong. I, I this pro this is probably like a this is probably like for everyone or something like that. Uh, but seriously, like, why would they do that? I just don't like it. It's it's stupid. Okay, down here is a little secret of secretness. The only indicator that this is actually down here is that you can barely see a coin. Uh, so that's cool. This is a neat little uh, little planet. All right, so let's just go on our merry way. There's a green pipe that I showed you guys a moment ago that shows you they can. Uh, there's a couple of chance keepers in there. I don't care if I was pressing the A button too quickly. I just want to say that it's so fun. Monster powers. This planet looks absolutely harmless. There's no reason to be afraid of this planet. Let's just continue on our adventure. Oh no, it's alive! It's working with a ghost chance cube and I want to eat my face. Why does everything want to eat my face suddenly today? Oh, uh, whatever. Uh, this is boss fight. It actually used to creep me out, but uh, I don't. It's not really that scary anymore. And it actually looks more like something that you'd either fight in a Wario game or a Kirby game. But, uh, oh, whatever. Um, I like it. I, over time, I grew to like this thing. Um, it's pretty cool. Stop hitting me! Please, I don't want to do this more than once. Just... Yay, you're defeated! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Not really. You deserve it. And now we can get our Power Star. Oh no! A Brexagama has appeared! Alright, uh, let's just check our mail before we end this, end this video. I have a letter for you! Jump and spin, jump and spin! Something that we already know about. Alright, uh, let me just talk about this real quick before we end the video. The Prankster Comets. Um, I'm, those are going to be... I'm going to be getting those... I'm going to be taking care of those in a separate video. So, just keep that in mind, but anyway, next time on Super Mario Galaxy 2, we're going to be going to... Not that way... Where'd we already go? I want to go here. We're going to be going to the Haunted Hall of Galaxy. Until next time, we're to you. Okay. Oh, yeah.